Hello, everybody. It's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And today we're going to be using both those programs because I want to show you how to create an effect by working with image sequences. Now, there are a number of ways to do the effect I want to show you here. You can, of course, do it using motion graphics. You can use a high-end program by After Effects, and you can even create some animations in Premiere Elements that come pretty close to this. But let me just show you what we're trying to accomplish. Here is the finished video, and this is just two cousins meeting, and I thought it'd be fun to add kind of a lightning bolt between their hands when their fists meet. Let's see what happens here. Zoe and Jason, we are a turkey. See, that's a very, very short sequence, but I created that sequence by adding this lightning bolt here between their fists one frame at a time. Okay, I painted it one frame at a time in Photoshop may not be the most efficient way to do it, but it does introduce a principle, and that is working with a video one frame at a time, you can do some pretty specific painting. Say somebody has boy, a blemish, or say there's something in the video you don't want to show and you want to actually paint over it, that's very difficult to do that effectively in video. However, if you output it one frame at a time, you can sometimes do a better job in Photoshop. So let's look at the principle rather than the effect itself. Here we are with our basic video, and we're gonna output this in part one and then work with it a little bit, and then in part two, we'll import it back into our project and turn it into our finished video. Quite often when you're working with image sequences, you're working with uh, very short segments of your video because you're gonna output each individual frame. That's 30 frames per second, which means if you're working on, and this is a, like a two and a half second video, we're looking at close to 70 frames. So it adds up really quick. So you're working usually with very, very short sequences. Now there is no built-in output here under export and share for creating an image sequence, but it's not that hard to do. I wanna show you how to do that. If you select devices and go over here to custom and then select advanced settings. Now in your advanced settings, you can create your image sequence as JPEGs, but you have more options if you select bitmap, this BMP, because then you're creating an uncompressed set of photos from your video, and you have some additional uh, enhancements you can do. So I'm gonna select bitmap. This is gonna output each frame of my video as a bitmap, a BMP file. I'm going to select match source here for my basic settings or at least starting point because my original video is 1920 by 1080 and as you can see the default settings here are 720 by 480. So let's select match source that will match it every aspect in fact of your video including its field order uh, if it's an interlaced video and its aspect ratio don't worry about those but we want to select here as our option export as a sequence and so now every single frame is going to come out as an individual photograph for our frame rate i'm going to change this so i'm going to uncheck the default setting and set that to 30 frames per second my field order this is because this is interlaced video quite often you're shooting in 24p 30p 60p those are progressive frames but because my video is interlaced that means it takes two half frames to create one frame uh, I could get some strange artifacts that I don't want to get, so I'm going to uncheck that option and say output this as progressive. So now it's going to blend those two sets of frames into one nice smooth frame. That's it. Click OK and name this. We'll call this image sequence. Click OK. And once you do that, that will be forever saved as a preset for you. You don't have to recreate it every time. Now I'm going to choose a location to save this sequence in. So let's go ahead, I'm going to go to my pictures file and we'll create a new folder called image sequence. Now the reason I wanna create a new folder is because like I say, we're going to generate about 75 photos from this short section. In fact, if this were a longer clip and I was going to apply the special effect only to a short segment, I'm gonna trim off as much as possible. I only wanna work with as many frames as I absolutely need to. So I've selected my image sequence folder there in pictures. I'll give it a name. We can call it fist bump sequence. And make sure that we have our image sequence selected here as our preset. And when I click save, the program is going to quickly generate the individual frames. If I open up the folder, you can see what I'm dealing with here. 75 frames here. Well, 78 actually. Each one, you know, 1 30th of a second. 
Once I've done that, I can go over, we'll click down here, we'll go over to Photoshop. And in our next video, we're going to actually apply our effect to each one of those frames. And then we'll bring those frames back into Premiere Elements and reassemble them into a movie. That's in part two of our working with an image sequence in Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements.